so uh, thank you. I've just been on the phone with family members of those South Carolinians that were uh, kidnapped, tortured, and survived, and those that were killed, we believe, by Mexican drug cartels. So I'm joined here today with Senator Kennedy just to make a, a statement. Drug cartels in Mexico have been terrorizing Americans for decades. We're going to unleash the fury and might of the United States against these cartels. We're going to destroy their business model and their lifestyle because our national security and the security of the United States as a whole depends on us taking decisive action. I have a two-step approach to this, but first I want to just say we've been talking about doing something against the Mexican drug cartels regarding fair and foreign terrorist organization designation for a decade, since 2012. Senator Kennedy and I are going to join forces. We believe Democrats will be involved to label these organizations as foreign terrorist organizations under U.S. law. That's the top of the food chain. An FTO designation is the highest designation you can give a criminal terrorist enterprise that's not a nation state. What would it mean? It means that all the precursors coming for China, Chinese chemical companies and Chinese enterprises, would be subject to being prosecuted under U.S. law for providing material support to foreign terrorist organizations, something you can't do today. So we're going to open up the prosecution lane. But I'm a firm believer that the prosecution model as it exists today is not working. So what are we going to do? We're going to up the ante. We're going to designate these groups and others, if appropriate, foreign terrorist organizations under U.S. law, changing the game for those who provide assistance to them. What drives this is fentanyl. It's been a game changer. More people died in the United States from fentanyl poisoning than car wrecks and gun violence combined. Fentanyl is becoming the leading cause of death for Americans ages 18 to 45. 200 Americans die every day due to fentanyl overdoses. Fentanyl overdoses cause the equivalent of a new September 11th every two weeks. I think John and I believe that if there were an ISIS or Al-Qaeda cell in Mexico that lobbed a rocket into Texas, we'd wipe them off the planet. They're doing that times thousands, and our response is inadequate. 106,000 people last year died of drug overdoses, 70,000 related to fentanyl with no end in sight. We've uh, recovered over 12,000 pounds of fentanyl at the border this year, enough to kill almost 3 billion people. Last year is 14,700 pounds. This year is almost 13,000 pounds, and we're just, we got eight months to go. This problem uh, is a national security threat. Fentanyl is a killer, and the people killing Americans reside out in the open in Mexico. Now, I don't know if it's a lack of will on behalf of the Mexican government to bring these cartels to bay or a lack of capability. Either way, it's the same result for the United States. Chaos, heartache, terrorism, murder, and it needs to come to an end. So we're going to do two things today. We're going to introduce legislation in the coming days and trying to make it bipartisan to designate these groups foreign terrorist organizations under U.S. law to open up more capability to go after them and their uh, conspirators all over the world. Secondly, we're going to enter introduce an authorization to use military force where the United States military can go in and destroy these labs and destroy these networks if possible. Once you're designated an FTO, a terrorist organization, the second step that we'll be engaging in is give the military the, the authority to go after these organizations wherever they exist. Not to invade Mexico, not to shoot Mexican airplanes down, but to destroy drug labs that are poisoning Americans. Plan Columbia. Bill Clinton uh, in 2000 passed Plan Columbia. Here's what Joe Biden said. We have an obligation in the interest of our children and the interest of the hemisphere 
to keep the oldest democracy in place, Colombia, to give them a fighting chance to keep from becoming a narco state. Joe Biden supported Plan Colombia in 2000. Plan Colombia allowed the United States military to partner with Colombia, their military and their drug enforcement agencies, to get in on the ground and disrupt the cocaine traffic that was poisoning America back then. Fentanyl is up to 10,000 times more lethal than the do dose of morph morphine. Fentanyl is a weapon of mass destruction. If you thought Plan Colombia was a good idea, to go to Colombia with military force to help the Colombian military to take down the, uh, the cocaine narcos state that existed, then how can you object to it being done in Mexico? So it's time now for Plan Mexico. It's time now to get serious and use all the tools in the toolbox, not just in the prosecution lane, not just in the law enforcement lane, but in the military lane as well. Hopefully this will change behavior of the Mexican government. Nothing would please me more than to have a meaningful partnership to take these drug cartels down and stop killing Americans. But if Mexico do, will not cooperate, then we're going to have to do what's in our national security interest. And let me just end with this. Mexico is a safe haven. It is a narco-terrorist state. Um, the safe haven provides Mexican cartels the ability with impunity to deliver lethal doses of fentanyl into our nation uh, that is the leading cause of death of Americans from 18 to 45. Um, four South Carolinians went to Mexico. Two of them are not coming back. I just talked to the sister. One of the victims are waiting on the body. These drug cartels are dangerous. They're lawless. American law needs to change to make sure we deal with them appropriately. And as we designate them FTOs, the next step would to, will be to provide authorization to use military force to eradicate the Mexican drug cartels that are poisoning America. I could not have a better partner than Senator Kennedy. Well, I, I will be brief. I just came by the block from my quarterback here. Um, a couple of things I think are undeniable. Number one, uh, Americans are being killed on both sides of the border. And uh, Americans are being, being addicted, certainly, on our side of the border. Killed, too. And number two, I don't mean any disrespect, but both President Biden and President Lopez Obrador, when it comes to the border and the drug cartels, have been sheep in sheep's clothing. And this has gone on long enough. Uh, if you have the will, we, we in America have the ability to help President AMLO, as some call him, eradicate these drug cartels. Um, and I, I just came to thank Lindsay for finally, somebody is going to do something. Uh, finally. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm hoping we'll have a bipartisan effort and that uh, Congress will work with the president, and he'll support this bill. We're not, we're friends with Mexico. We just want to help. But at some point, thank you again, Lindsay. Somebody has to do something. And I think this bill is a really good start. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, you had Attorney General Merrick Garland before your panel last week. Did you get the sense that this is something you would support? He said that he had no problem with foreign terrorist organization designation, but that's up to the State Department. <clears throat> he didn't oppose it. Uh, I didn't mention to him the authorization to use force, but Plan Columbia was used in the late 90s, early 2000s, where the United States saw the cocaine problem in Columbia to be so severe, such a threat, that Bill Clinton authorized military forces to go train and advise the Colombian military. Well, we're going to take it a step further. Uh, this is not cocaine. Cocaine is a terrible drug. Fentanyl is a weapon of mass destruction. It requires a different response. So what are we going to do? We labeled FARC, the cocaine um, kingpin in Colombia, an FTO back then. We're going to label all these people FTOs. And if you're in China helping these people, we'll come after you too uh, through our legal system. But most importantly, we're going to top this off with a Plan Mexico more lethal than Plan Colombia. If Americans do not see the need to use military force to stop the flow of fentanyl, uh, I would be shocked. 
I would think that Americans as a whole would like us to use every tool in the toolbox to try to get Mexico to up their game. Let's start with FTO designation, then follow it with an authorization to use force, and use it if required. I'd love to use it in conjunction with the Mexican Army. But uh, you got to have a willing partner. Yes, ma'am. You know, I'm not really worried about hurting our relationship with Mexico. I'm uh, trying to make it better. Uh, what kind of neighbor is this? Again, if there was a ISIS cell or a Al Qaeda cell operating in Mexico that lobbed one rocket or committed a terrorist attack in a border state, we would be on top of it. To me, this is that on steroids. So to our Mexican uh, neighbors, yeah, we want a good relationship. You're failing your own citizens and you're putting America at risk. You need to do more. We'd like to help you, but we're not gonna sit on the sidelines anymore as a nation and watch our neighbor become a narco state that kills more Americans uh, in a single year than we lost in Vietnam. And by the way, FARC, you asked about FARC that, that uh, Senator Graham talked about with Operation Columbia. FARC no longer exists. It worked. President uh, Lopez Obrador earlier this week was critical of uh, Representative Shaw. Who yeah. He can be critical of me. I don't care. I've been open-minded to immigration reform. I've been working with Mexico to try to have a win-win. To the president of Mexico, you have let your country slide into the hands of a narco terrorist. Your capability or your will doesn't exist to the point to stop what is, I think, the poisoning of America. You're leaving us with no other choices. This has been going on for how long? John, we've been talking about this for at least a decade. But fentanyl is a game changer. To the president of Mexico, fentanyl is a weapon of mass destruction being unleashed on America from, uh, from your country. It's coming from your country. You're allowing safe havens for these groups to operate with impunity because what you're doing is not working. Your country is being used by narco-terrorists to poison America. We ask you to help us. The best thing can happen is that we work together, but I will tell the president of Mexico that what you're doing is not working. We're going to change the game. We're going to up the ante. Here's what I hope will happen. We're going to terrorize the terrorist. If you get on, if, get on a cell phone, it may be the last call you make. I can tell you what it's like to be a terrorist when the U.S. military is on your ass. You don't sleep well at night. You know, the terrorists live in caves. They're committed to their cause. The narco-terrorist lives in mansions out in the open, buying fancy cars. We know where you live, and we know how you make your money. So my goal is to make sure you don't sleep well at night, that the cost of doing business when it comes to poisoning America goes up, that when you try to get somebody to join your cartel, they'll say, no, thank you, the last guy got killed or went to jail. Until you do that, nothing's going to change. We need to unleash the, unleash the fury of the United States on these narco-terrorists, and we're going to do it. We're going to give authorization to our military to take down foreign terrorist organization like this once we designate them under U.S. law and hopefully do it in conjunction with the countries where they exist. But if we have to do it by ourselves, we'll do it by ourselves. Is there anything the State Department can do unilaterally if anything needs Congress? They could do this without a bill. So what did John just say? Finally, we're doing something. The State Department could do this tonight. They choose not to. And, you know, other, you know, Trump wanted to make these people foreign terrorist organizations. But we went to transnational criminal organizations, which is a step below. What's the difference between an FTO and a TCO? 
If you support a FTO, one of these people under the law that we're trying to create, then you can be charged with material support for a terrorist organization. So if you're a China chemical company and we can find out a connection between you and Mexico, we can haul you into U.S. court. That's something you can't do under TCOs. I want to do that. I want to up the game on the criminal side, but I also want to add something beyond the criminal model. I want to put military force on the table, because if this is not an attack on America, what would be? On 9-11, we lost less than 3,000 people. We've been at war for 20 years going after the people who attacked us on 9-11. Uh, Pearl Harbor, we lost less than 3,000 people. We're losing 70,000 people a year more than the entire Vietnam War, more than the war on terrorism. And our response is inadequate to the threat. So with Senator Kennedy's help, I'm talking to Senator Blumenthal about the FTO designation. I predict that if we had a vote, we'd win, don't you think, John? So I'm calling on Senator Schumer and McConnell to set aside some time for us to debate this among ourselves, put the legislation on the floor to be amended, come out with a consensus product, and go on the offense. Thank you.